the one thing I recommend is uh, really any project because you never know but especially if you're testing out a new substrate or you're just not sure um, do an adhesion test and I'll show you the way I do those bed a few inches of your polyester tape now this part's really important because you'll get false negatives if you don't get all the air out there uh, so you gotta have that air out of there so you can smooth that out real good if you happen to have a scraper on the roof with you never a bad idea that helps get that air out of there as well you want full adhesion, no air bubbles. Uh, brush again. I'll let this one cure overnight or so and uh, come back and put the fish scale on it. Uh, we get some very impressive numbers with this. All right, let's take a look at the pull test that we set up the other day. Uh, it's been five days. We could have done it. We gotten the same result the next day. Really doesn't matter. It was five days because we've been busy. Uh, so when you're setting that up, you're just going to want to take the part that you left yourself. Any knot will do. I usually do a slip just because it'll tighten right on onto the hook of my fish scale. fish scale on there. Make sure your fish scale is on and paired. So there we go. We're at zero. Now you don't want to pull out because that's going to give you a false positive. You don't want to pull away because then you're peeling. You're not actually pulling. You want to go straight up. All right, here we go. See, it's really pulling on the substrate a lot there too. Oh, and there we go. We have a substrate failure, which means the Igador is bonding better to the substrate than the substrate is to itself. Also means I'm gonna whip up a little bit of patch. So there you have it. A 100% substrate failure is a 100% success for Igador. To be clear, what would constitute a failure is if the Igador is pulling away from the substrate. The two things that would constitute a success are the substrate failure that we just saw here or the cohesive failure where we're seeing a little bit of substrate failure and where it's really pulling away right at the tape, that means that the Igador and the substrate are both, uh, both actually doing their job. Uh, we've seen other successes where the tape just keeps breaking at over 100 pounds and there's really nothing you can do about that. But uh, in this case, 100% substrate failure. And that means the Igador is absolutely bonding to the substrate with high effectiveness.